Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we're gonna make chicken tenders and it's really super easy to make and I will show you how to make it. So first of all, we have a regular flour and then to this, we're gonna add some salt according to your taste. So I'm actually going to add two tables two teaspoons or two tablespoons actually because um, it's a lot of flour it's a one cup flour so I'm gonna add two tablespoons uh, since I'm making this for my daughter I'm gonna make second batch too I'm just making this first batch for my daughter so I don't want to put any spices in there so I want I want her to enjoy her so I'm gonna shake this well and then um, Put some tenders in there. I have already tenders ready, clean, nice and clean. So I'm gonna dip it in there. And then I have an egg wash and everything. I'll show you all the good stuff. Okay, and then I have my egg wash. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of salt and pepper to my egg wash only. and a cracked pepper, just a little bit, not too much. And then mix this together. Okay, for the egg wash, I've taken uh, two eggs and uh, two tablespoon, this spoon of milk. That's it. So I'm gonna move this away you have seen this flour is just mixed with uh, two tablespoons of uh, salt. I'm gonna bring this here. I'm gonna bring, bring one more plate and then show you how I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna be making batch of fours because I don't want too much in my oil and my oil is getting heat up like really nice. So I'm just gonna put four in first and then uh, we do the rest of it and show you how to do it these are nice and washed four okay you clean your hands okay, and then just shake it well until this is all coated okay after that we're gonna pull this out remove all the excess fat uh flour and drop it in your egg mixture. It goes in your egg mixture and then you just coat it well. And then this goes back in the bag. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna shake it again in the bag with the flour mixture. Okay, we have oil nicely heating up. We're gonna drop this chicken. Here you go. And then this only needs five to six minutes to fully cook, not too much time. But if you want crispy, you can go ahead and do seven, eight minutes. And by this time, this is cooking. We're gonna go ahead and prepare the rest of it. Looking nice, golden, crispy. Almost there, almost there.
All right, it's time to take this out. These look absolutely amazing. Drain all the oil, and then it goes to your plate. Make sure to put the paper towel on your plate to absorb all the excess oil. Just like this. And then we have a second batch, which is almost the same. It goes back in there. So I have the second batch, which is almost the same thing lightly salt and lightly peppered so this goes in okay while that's cooking i'll show you how i make mine with some spice on salt is already in the bag then i got some uh, black pepper red chili powder and then some uh, Old Bay seasoning. These are going in the bag. And then we shake it well. Okay, so all the tenders I have left now is four pieces. These all go in the flour. And then we shake the bag, same process. Everything stays the same. Okay, everything stays the same with some spice flour. And then I have this chipotle hot sauce. I'm gonna put this in my egg mixture. And then we're gonna dip, double dip, and then fry it again. Chicken, nicely coated, well balanced. Okay, we're gonna drop this in the egg mixture. And then one by one, we're gonna drop this back in our bag. It goes back in the bag. And then we shake it well again. Okay, so now we're gonna drop this in our oil. Now uh, trust me guys, this is gonna come out a little bit darker because I have some seasoning. So watch for this one.
Yeah, I gotta put this here. It's ready. It's hot. Oh, it's hot. It's very hot. Okay. Mm -hmm.